Hi students! I am so excited for this short lesson to share with you today. I think you will find it very interesting. Um, this is a little bit of grammar, but mostly this is culture about writing. So a few weeks ago, a student sent me a sentence and she said, I don't understand the grammar in this sentence. NASA to name headquarters after first female engineer. And my student said, I have never seen this structure, noun, infinitive, noun, NASA to name headquarters. And I said, like I say to many students, that's really a good question. Let me make some research and I can make a short explanation for all of my students. Um, so let's jump into this explanation, which is the strange style of language that we see in the newspapers, especially in the headline of the newspaper. Now, this style of language is only seen in a newspaper, um, an announcement, a title, maybe a Twitter tweet, maybe something like a Facebook post or the title of an article for a journal, possibly the title of a thesis or a dissertation. You might see this short, abrupt language. Many, many times you don't see the verb to be. It's completely gone. You are missing the, a, an, any type of article is missing from the beginning of a noun. Most of the time verbs are written in simple present tense or in this strange infinitive form that is used for the future. For example, let's look at some newspaper headlines together to see this in action. This is a headline from 1997 when Princess Diana died in England, uh, in France. Diana dead. We don't see the word is. Diana is dead. Charles told. We don't see Charles told us, Charles told the newspaper. We don't see the clarification. We just see this short, shocking headline. Vaccine hope by September. Scientists hope for a vaccine by September. A vaccine is hoped for by September. Taking away all those extra pieces, vaccine hope by September. The headline from my student's example, NASA to name HQ headquarters after first black female engineer, Mary Jackson. NASA to name. NASA will name their headquarters NASA to name headquarters after first black female engineer. Arctic blast to last a week. Now, if you don't have experience in the North Dakota or Minnesota weather, Arctic blast is a terrible negative 10 Celsius, negative 15 Celsius, negative 25 Celsius. So this weather will last a week. Arctic blast to last a week. And we can even see some of this in our local Fargo Forum newspaper. This is a really, really old Fargo Forum, 1945. Germany quits. Short, shocking newspaper headline. And a little bit more recent from the Fargo Forum. Man, you can't see over here on the far left, but this, this word missing is the word man. Man thrown from hood of car. 
This, this grammar doesn't make sense at all. This is the third verb. Throw, through, thrown. Man, thrown from car. The grammar doesn't make sense at all. It's this short, cut, newspaper headline language. What other examples of these short newspaper headlines can you think of? Share them with us in the comments underneath of the video. Always, always, always keep watching for those new, interesting pieces of language to ask me about. I am happy to make a short, quick video to help you understand English a little bit better. Until next time, students. Bye.